Hi, this is your girl, Amy Ridgel of Mentoring Moments, and it's Wednesday. We had a little technical difficulty, so instead of going live, I am just going to pre-record a video and upload it on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram, as many places as I can get it. Well, I wanted to talk tonight to you directly. Those of you who started on this journey to be rich in soul, spirit, and the bank, listen, it's time to prosper. It is time for the things, the witty ideas, the dreams, and the visions to begin to come to life, and you got to work it. Listen, I'm your coach. I'm your mentor, and in this season, I'm going to be pushing you to keep fighting. Many of you have seen my live where I said, you know, David was ready for the fight. People have written, written, written to me and said they were inspired by it. They were like, wow, I was so pumped up, and I want to hear more. And so, hey, just because you want Wanted to hear more. I'm here to give you more. And listen, I want to give you some insight. Proverbs 8 talks about wisdom. Listen, I'm going to show you right now how to stop failure. I'm going to show you how to stop wasting money. I'm going to show you how to stop wasting time. I'm Annie Ridgel and I've got your Wednesday mentoring moment. Okay. Hey, I'm back. And so what I want to talk to you, you, you is that there was a season where we did things without the accompaniment of common sense. Oh gosh. We look back and we go, why did I do that? Why did I spend that money? Why didn't I, you know, shop around or why didn't I uh, do due diligence? And it's because we left wisdom out of the door. Listen, I've been watching Eric Thomas lately and I have been learning so much about the perseverance that's needed to get to greatness. And so many times we're hyped up on a pipe dream. We're hyped up on what other people are doing and we're making excuses that they got to it easy or sometimes we're just plain out being lazy and we don't want to put in the work. Well, now we don't have to work as hard. Listen, if you can work smarter, here's where wisdom comes in. Proverbs 8 says, common sense is amongst wisdom wisdom and success. And so listen, you can stop right here in 30 seconds and say, Hey, is there something that I'm ignoring? Is there something that I'm just trying to rush over, browse over, you know, ignore the facts. Don't want to look at the numbers. Don't want to cough the cows. That's going to end me up in failure later. And right now you and I can't take another failure. We don't need another one. So I'm going to give you a bulletproof tip right now on how to become more successful. Hey, you've got to get wisdom. So where is wisdom found? Wisdom is found in books. Wisdom is found in knowledge. Wisdom is found in God, man. And God, can you believe that? God is full of wisdom, his spirit. So you can just ask the creator, hey, what should I do? And wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Wisdom will be found of you. If you seek it, if you say, hey, I'm looking for the truth, I'm looking for, you know, I'm putting on a conference in October and I started off with this huge hotel bill and it just wasn't wisdom to spend that much money uh, in advance. And so the more I kept seeking for, is there got to be a better way? There's got to be another way. There's got to be another way. Then I begin to find wisdom. And wisdom was saying, once you ask somebody that has a venue, matter of fact, once you find a venue that has it all. So congratulations, wisdom and I have partnered together so that this conference in October could be successful. I'm just using my personal stories and example. Listen, I don't want you to quit. I don't want you to throw in the towel because of how many times you failed in the past, how many times you spent money. It doesn't matter. This time is different because this time you're working with wisdom. This time you're seeking wisdom. You're not just going head in there ooh, with zeal. You need more than zeal to persevere. You have to preserve your energy. You have to preserve your um, finances. And so it takes wisdom. So if you never hear anything from me again, here's my greatest tip on how to not waste money, how to not waste time, and how to not waste energy. Get wisdom. So wisdom is found in books. Wisdom is found in knowledge. Wisdom is found in other people. Ask questions. 
dig deep, ask God, but get wisdom and you'll get success. Don't do the same things you've been done. Wisdom is the application of knowledge that you've learned from the past. Sometimes I've literally had to say everything that you did last year, the way you did it, don't do it that way. Do the opposite. But sometimes we're stuck in a pattern. But today I hope and I pray that you get broken out of that pattern uh, and you begin to persevere. Keep trying, my friend. Keep pushing. It's not going to happen with the first door knock. It didn't, you know, it took me about five different venues till I found the right one. And so I want to really push you to persevere. You got to be rich in soul, spirit, and then the bank, man. And you're going to get that way by having wisdom. Kings, presidents, governors, anybody you see that's successful, there's wisdom. Wisdom is a better way to do things, a cheaper way, a, a more influential way, a more diplomatic way. Listen, get some wisdom, my friend. Hey, I've got a mastermind coming up every month. I want to see you. Let's make it to the top. I'm Annie Rigel, and uh, this is your mentoring moment.